right, so we're back. So now we're, we just did a bivariate correlation. Now we're going to do a simple linear regression. It's called a simple linear regression because there's going to be just one independent variable in here and one dependent variable. Frankly, you'll never see a simple linear regression. So this is really more of a teaching tool here. Um, but let's, let's do it. We want to use the variable a 10 3, a 10 percentage rather. Um, that's our independent variable. We want to use that to explain variation in the 50 states in terms of how many women legislators. All right, so this should be a negative relationship. All right, and we go ahead and do it, and we get this. And you might recognize that R, can, they, can you focus in on this one right here, 0.648. If we squared 0.648, we'll get 0.419, and, uh, and then we, we don't have time to talk about it, but you always want to use the adjusted R square, all right? And it's a 0 .407. This is a, a proportionate reduction in error measure, which means by knowing how many people in a state uh, attend religious services uh, frequently, we can reduce our error in predicting how many state legislators are women in that state by about 41% or 40.7%. So that's pretty good. Uh, that's pretty good just with knowing that one variable. This is something else we can do. And this, if you look on the PowerPoint, I talk a lot about this when I talk about, I think it's Farmer, no, no, it's not a Farmer, he's a Fireman Jenkins, the fire chief in, in Somerville. I have a long discussion about that. But we can use, this is the, this is the prediction equation, or the regression equation. So, Cravens, if you can come over here and, and look, we can predict, uh-oh. Uh, get you one? No, I think I got one right here. Uh, I got a bunch of them. Uh, we'll yeah. use a green one. We've got some Christmas colors over here. Y hat. This is, this is Y hat is a prediction. Y hat equals alpha, um, plus uh, beta 1, x1. Uh, this is the correlation, this is the um, regression coefficient, and this is some value that you're going to sub in for your first independent variable. L let me explain, let me show you how it works, and I think it'll make more sense. So we might want to predict um, how many uh, so here we got our constant right here, and then our coefficient for our one independent variable, which is a negative 0 0.470. Now we want to substitute in a value for to, to predict what would happen if everybody in that whole state went to church frequently. So this would be 100%. So then we put in 100, all right, which is a bit of an absurd value because it doesn't appear in the data set. So it's kind of, it's going to, it's going to screw things up a little bit, but not much, we'll see. So if we solve for this, y hat equals 42.4 minus this times this, which is 47. So y hat equals, if you did this out, you would get a negative 4.6. And this is in terms of percentages. And if you're smart, you're saying right now, how can you, how can you have a negative 4.6 percentage? You can't. This, mean, this means not only are there no women in the state legislature, there's actually negative women in the state legislature. And the reason for that is because we plugged in really an unreasonable value, uh, a 100. Uh, a zero is another unreasonable. This would be a completely atheistic state. We could plug in a zero here, and if we plugged in a zero, this would mean that 0 .470 times zero is, of course, zero. So this would be 42.4 minus zero, which is easy enough to do. 
42.4. So you can plug in here any old number that is a, a, a reasonable number, uh, value for the dependent variable. Um, what kind of time are we looking at now, Fairbanks? 514. 514, I think that's good for right now. So we'll come back in just a second and do the next installment.